I, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I, I never thought I would make this video. You know, it's, it's funny, when, when you're a kid and you have a secret, especially a secret like this, you, you think you're gonna take it with you to your grave. You think there's no way anybody could ever understand. But the world changes, um, pe people get more accepting and you see it more in the media and, and a lot of people say, you know, what's, what's the big deal? Why not just, you know, you know, there's no hatred to towards that group anymore. But it wasn't always like that. Um, and, and telling people that I was a gamer is probably one of the it's probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do and you know some people some people you know they say it's a good thing you know you figure out who your true friends are. You figure out who's really gonna stick with you through thick and thin and all and all that. And but I never, I never wanted that. I just, I just wanted people to stand by me. I just wanted this thing that it was part of me to not be disgusting, to not be shameful. I wanted to be able to tell people. You know, I'm a gamer. And not have it be this wall between us. And it, and it, it's different now. It, it is different now. It, it, um, and I've... I have had conversations with, with these people that I've cut out. And, you know, a lot of them feel really bad. And I, I get that, I get that, I get that, but it doesn't take back the, the years of, of being ostracized and, and, and the years of, of, ha of having no one, of ha really having no one to talk to about, 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 about this part of yourself and, the, and it becomes everything. Um, it changes the way people see you. It it just does. It um it was it was 2006. Um, I'm getting old. <laughs> um and I was getting I was getting my first Xbox. Um and I was still I was still in the closet. I was still a closeted gamer. I hadn't told I hadn't told my parents, I hadn't told my friends, um, it was just, it was just this big secret that I had, and, um, I, I guess it just became a habit to, to, to lie about it, to, to play this character of, you know, the non-gamer who, who, you know, I would be, if somebody would bring a pail, I'd be like, what, what, I don't know. You know, um, and in retrospect, I was probably really obvious, but, and so I went out to this midnight release, um, and, and back then, a lot of events like this, it was, it was like a late night, kind of like a, a red light, kind of, it w you don't think you're gonna run into people you know there. Is is just all I'll say is all I'll say about that. Um, so it was it was at this um, it was at this this place. It was the local you know establishment for gamers. It was what was it? It was GameStop. GameStop. Um, and I was online um, waiting for for my new Xbox. And I you know I. I had gotten used to internalizing a lot of my shame about it, but, you know, at that moment, I was just so excited to, you know, get my game system. I was just over, I was over the moon. I was just, I was thinking about, you know, Hexic HD, 
a lot of people were talking about that, and I was just like, I want to, I want to play that. You know, I was just <laughs> up as about that game. You know, um, and so I was, I was online, and these people walk by, and I, I didn't overhear exactly what they were talking about, but I, I just heard one word. Um, and it was the big one. It was. It, it was it was the bad word. It was, they just um I'm just gonna say it. They they said nerd. And um. It it, it it's a it's a heavy word. It's a really heavy word. And. I know that today there's a lot of talk about reclaiming these words, you know, about take, taking the power out of these words. But I, to me, and I know, I know this isn't for everyone, and I, don't, I, I know that it helps some people, and I don't want to take that away from them, but to me, I, that word just makes me sick. That word just makes me sick, hear, hearing that word, because it just brings all of it back. It just feels like I'm there again. It just feels like I'm, I'm that scared 17 year old, afraid to tell people he's a gamer because, because I know that people call me that. And I, I don't wanna go back to that. I, I don't wanna be that person anymore. Because, you know, I, it, it took, it took a long time for me to be okay with me. And I know that's something that we all go through. It, it's the human experience, you know, you know, to find a way to be okay with being you. But, you know, when you're a gamer, it, it's different. Um, and I think, I think we have to admit that, that it is, it is different for different marginalized groups to deal with that problem. Um, but you know, hearing that, it, honestly, it it made it, it it made me want it made me want to try harder. It made me want to beat beat this part of me. This part of me that is always telling me that. It's disgusting that you're a gamer, you know. Gamers are gross and they smell and they eat Doritos and drink Mount, Mountain Dew. It, because that's the thing, it's not just from them, it's from you. And eventually it gets hard to keep telling yourself, you know. It gets real hard to tell yourself that, that their voice is out there and your voice in here, that both of them are wrong because you're just fighting a battle with them and with you and it's like you you have you have nowhere to turn is what you you don't have anyone to talk to and that is just the loneliest feeling in the world that is just i wouldn't and my mind went to dark places i'm not i'm not going to sugarcoat that um so I want to trigger warning. I'm going to talk about when I when I was thinking about doing something really stupid. I was I almost did something that I could never take back. It was oh my God. I haven't told anybody about this. It it was it, it was Valhalla, Halo Three. Um, And I, I, I threw a sticky grenade on the ground and I stood, I stood by it for a, long, for a long time. I, I was just done and I was just, I thought, I don't 
don't know what I was thinking. I, I let that grenade cook for so long, and I guess... I, I guess I, I didn't even... To me, it wasn't dying. To me, it was... It was living. It was being free. It was freedom from the hatred that I saw towards gamers. And I almost took... I thought it was the easy way out, but... But it's not. Because, because that doesn't just stay with you. That doesn't just stay with you. That, that it, it ripples to everyone. And just because you're not around there to feel, to feel that, that doesn't mean that it's not gonna hurt a lot of people. A lot of people. And somebody in my, in my clan actually, actually did, did, did that, you know, took, took that step and I'm never gonna be the same person again. And you know, it feels, it feels so unfair that this person that, that I only, that I, that I only met online gets to make me feel this way by doing that to himself. And when I even, even when I think of his name, Gangnam Style 420, it's just, And it, it was tough. It was real tough. Um, and that's when I vowed that I'm that I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna beat this. I'm. I I can't hurt people like that. I. I ha I I can't let it win. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna let it win. And I, I got help. There was a, a GameFAQ support forum and I was, you know, my whole family has always had this mentality that therapy is for crazy people. Therapy means means you're sick, it means you're broken, it means you're 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 meant you know. And it was that stigma that kept me for so long from getting and just talking to people, and that—that's the thing that just talking to somebody can make you feel so much better. Um, and back then, this game "Meet and Fuck" was all the rage. I know, old old game, right? Oldie but goodie. Um, and you know, getting into that really, it really helped me. And talking to people who were fans of that game, it community is what community is what saved me. And I just want any of you who feel that you're that you, because you're a gamer that you, you feel that you can't talk to there are people out there who are like you there are people who want to help you there are people who need you here there are people who need you here i need you here thank you for listening to my story